Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence. In today's video, I am going to be talking about how to install SQLite on Windows and Mac. And I've written a blog post on this, so I'm just going to use it as a reference point. But before we begin, I'm just going to remove SQLite from my computer so that we can you can kind of see that, you know, I'm not like making this up. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I just removed SQLite from my computer, so I'm just going to install it from fresh. I am on Windows, but I do have instructions down here about installing it on Mac. This is my Windows computer I'm using right now. So when you try to install SQLite, it might take you to this website. It might take you to this website right here. And when you get to this website, it's very confusing, like what to do, because um, if you are in Windows, it doesn't. Windows typically uses .exe file uh, for installations, and if you go under the Windows section, there is no .exe, right? It only has .zip. Same for Mac. Um, Mac uses typically uses .dmg images. So if you're looking at if you're looking at this website, it's kind of like confusing, like how to install it or how to use it. But don't worry, um, there's an easy way to do it. And actually, even if you install the .zip file, um, it's very confusing. Like how do you start the program? How do you use it? That's why there are programs that exist to make SQLite installation very easy. So if you go back here real quick, um, there are really two ways you can install SQLite on your computer and be able to use it through a user interface. The first one is SQLite Browser and then the second one is SQLite Studio. Personally, I recommend SQLite Browser, but I'm going to install um, both of them real quick. Um, I'm going to go to this website and I'm going to add the other links to the description of this video as well. So if I go to SQLite browser, this is what it looks like. And there is a Windows option, and then there is a Mac OS option. Since this is a Windows computer, I'm going to use the Windows option. And I always recommend using the standard installer. I mean, you can use the .zip file. If you are a pro at your computer and you know how to use a .zip to uninstall it, but for the rest of us, normal mortal human beings we are just going to use a standard installer i'm on a 64-bit computer so i'm gonna click on this so after you're done install it you just open it click next accept the terms and conditions i know you're not going to read um so you, you have two options here you can use sql you can download both SQLite and SQLite Cypher. And up here kind of gives this group description of SQLite versus SQLite Cypher. SQLite Cypher is like an included version of the database. And it doesn't have all the latest SQLite features, but regular SQL DB browser has the latest SQLite features. Personally, I don't need this on my desktop, so I'm just gonna choose program menu for both of them. I'm gonna click on next. And here, there are a couple of SQL extensions. I just use the default, which means this will be installed as part of my SQLite installation. And I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to click Install. And you're going to get this screen that asks if you want to copy. And you said yes. And then you click on Finish. And that's it. And then if you go to your search bar or your Windows stuff and you search for SQLite, um, you get the option of SQL Cypher or SQLite DB Browser, SQLite or DB Browser SQL Cypher. I always go with DB Browser SQLite. And I'm going to click SQLite. And there yeah, it opens up and you can start using it. So that is one way to install SQLite on your Windows computer. Uh, another way to install SQLite on your Windows computer is using SQL Studio. And you might be wondering like, 
why do we even need SQL Browser and SQL Studio if we have SQLite? So basically, SQL Browser, SQLite Browser and SQL Studio provides a user interface for SQLite. Right? SQLite is the database management system. And if you go to this site, like I showed you earlier, you can technically install it and use it through the console. But that's a pain in the rear. <laughs> so that's why it's nice to have a GUI user interface that you can kind of use with SQLite and DB Browser and SQLite Studio is one of the two that you could use. If I go and open SQL Studio here, you can kind of see it. And once again, you can download SQL Studio. I'm just going to install SQL Studio real quick just to show you. Once again, SQL Studio is easy to install. Uh, for usage, I personally prefer using DB Browser over SQLite Studio. So if you click on Download, Next, uh, just like you, I'm not going to read all of this, but I'm just going to accept it, and hopefully there's nothing bad in this list. Click Next, and here it asks if you want to associate SQLite file extensions with SQLite Studio. Personally, I said no, because like, I, like I said, I prefer using DB Browser, and I don't want to like lock myself into SQL Studio. I'm also going to uninstall SQL Studio after this video is done, so I don't want to like do this because then I have to manually go in and change the default application from SQL Live Studio to something else. So I'm gonna click Next, and I'm gonna use the default installation path next, and click Next, and it's um, installing. And now it's asking if I want to launch it. I'm just going to click Finish. And there it is. It's out. It's up and running. Obviously, it's still, even though I uninstalled SQLite Studio before I reinstalled it right now, it still has my previous database in memory. That's why this showed up here. But yeah, that's it for installing SQLite Studio and SQLite DB Browser on Windows. Of course, this installation can also be done on a Mac. So if you're installing SQLite Studio on a Mac, you might run into an error of like the application developer cannot be verified. And when I run this on a Mac, uh, what I had to do was like click open the first time and then it didn't open. And then when I clicked on the image the second time, I got this option. And then I was able to click open, right? And if you go to SQL Live Studio, you can download it directly from here from their website, or you can down download it from their releases page. So I believe if you click here, download, it will take you to the release page. And I also have it here. So this site right here is where they have their releases. And you can kind of see like the different Version. So Windows has a portable version and an installer. What I just used was the .exe installer. And Mac OS also has a portable version and an installer. And the difference is that the portable version is supposed to allow you to use SQLite Studio without installing it on your computer. Personally, I tried to use a portable version, but it didn't go as planned. Like, it, like on Windows, the portable version didn't open or execute, I guess. And on Mac, I couldn't get it to open either. Maybe I'm doing it wrong or maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. But for easy installation, I recommend using the installer. Yeah, for Mac, I, I prefer using the installer over the portable version. And this is when you install the portable version on Mac, this is kind of what it looks like. And like I said, I click the SQLite icon here, but it didn't open. So maybe I'm opening it the wrong way or something. I don't know. Um, but I just a warning that if you try to install SQLite Studio on Mac computer, you might uh, come into an error. You just have to accept the error and click open. And installing SQLite browser on Mac is very simple. Like when I tried to do it, I did not run into any errors. Like I said, you go to the website right here. You scroll down to the Mac. And you can install depending on your chip version. If you want to find out your chip version on a Mac computer, just the Mac icon 
in the upper right hand corner usually somewhere around here click on the mic icon and click about this computer if it says intel then it's intel if it says uh something else that is most likely apple silicon so that's how you kind of know your computer chip version and uh, i just showed how to install sqlite on windows i think that's pretty much it for this video um you can use sqlite studio or you can use sql db browser for sqlite personally i prefer sqlite D sqlite browser no db browser for sqlite so this is what sqlite studio looks like right here and this is db browser for sqlite like i said i prefer db browser for sqlite and i actually wrote a blog post on how to use db browser sqlite for database management so this is going to be my next video make sure to subscribe to this youtube channel so when i release this video you get access to it but this video talks this video and this blog post talking about how to use db browser for sqlite but anyway we are at the end of this video feel free to follow me here on youtube or on linkedin or on github on twitter and i'm gonna put the link to my social media in the discussion session of this video and also whenever i create new videos like new content or new blog posts i send out emails about it so feel free to sign up for my tech newsletter i'm not gonna spam your inbox i'm only gonna send con send out emails like when i create new content also i have free technical resources that you can get access to so in addition to this video, I put out free technical resources that people can get access to. Uh, this is a sample of what you will get when you get access to my free tech resources page. So this is available for everyone. Feel free to go here to free tech resources and get access to this. And let's say you wanted to get access, if you want access to different databases that you could potentially use, for doing database work on your local computer i have a list of databases here that you can install you can download to your local computer and then you can kind of use it for your database work on your local computer that's it for this video thank you for watching and i'll talk to you on the next one bye